Welcome back to Atlas, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys a big build on my brig that I've been working on. The reason I've been uploading for the last couple of days is because I've been building this bad boy, and it's taken shape. Like these are the meta at the moment on official servers is these armored brigs, so they're pretty damn amazing, and they can take a hell of a lot of beating as well, as well as output quite a bit of damage too. So you can see that I haven't got the biggest broadside on this yet. It's going to be upgraded. It's going to have a 12 cannon broadside. Once it's upgraded, there'll be another four cannons in the window next to there, um, which is pretty substantial. Like that'll do a lot of damage. Obviously on a brig, you're a bit limited by the AI. So I'll probably have it half like sort of AI, probably like four AI on each side. And then maybe even six, six AI either side three at the rear and one at the front for now and then sails. It's going to be very, very limited, but um, I'm going to upgrade the AI, upgrade the weight. And I need AI on these swivel cannons for um, boarding protection too. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be outputting a bit of damage, but the main thing is this builds an all-rounder. I know a lot of people have been doing builds with these massive broadsides on one side and focusing the broadside on a single side and it outputs a ton of damage. But it's very circumstantial and I feel like if your enemy's smart they'll use it against you and they can get on the other side and things like that possibly. So this build's kind of an all-rounder. I'll show you guys a bit of uh, how it's how it's been performing so far. I took it out to do some ghost ships to get this AI and at that stage I didn't have the protection up here. Actually this is taking a bit of damage. So it seems like the ghost ship's aim for center mass. I'm gonna need more protection in the center because that's actually ceiling, so. Thought I'd get away without it, but I'll definitely need that center protection. The more you know. Um, so it's been a few steps, a few step process. It does actually have some upgraded planks too. Uh, where are they? These ones here, the medium wood planks, they're 6,600 health from a 110% Dura medium wood plank BP. The cannon ports aren't though, so that's kind of annoying, but I might upgrade those. So you can get BPs for better improvements for your ships. The sails also have 102.4% velocity, so it's got a bit of extra speed to it as well. Um, so you get those from the flotsams from the ghost ships as well. But yeah, this bad boy, is, it's taken shape. So I wanted to show you guys this build and sort of... Sort of Give you guys a bit of a tour. I was going to show the whole building process, but it was such a long process. Um, I just felt like it'd be pretty boring. But to put the ramps up, you just basically, you build this ramp here from your deck. It just goes up, straight ramp, and then a ramp straight down. And that's how you do the armor on the outside there. You'll see a lot of builds look pretty damn ugly, but this one I think is pretty damn aesthetic. I'm pretty happy with it. And it's all also practical as well, um, especially for ghost ships. When you fight ghost ships, you'll notice you've got the deck health here, but you've got your normal ceilings here, which are a, a big vulnerability. So you've got to protect that with an extra ceiling so that when you get attacked by the ghost ships, they go for the center mass and your center mass doesn't get destroyed too easily. So we've got uh, grape shots with flame on each side, although they've been limited by 40%. Heavy cannon up here, just just in case we're chasing someone, give that extra extra power, because you can direct the heavy cannon pretty well from from the steering wheel. And then um, on the side we've got the four cannons here. I'll show you guys the lower deck, and the rear's got a pretty good output, four normals and two heavies. I would like to make it more, but I think that'll be enough for what we're doing. Um, the main focus of this is to have a nice meaty broadside. So down here we've got uh, our lower decks. And I need to streamline this a bit, but we've got four cannons down here, but I didn't want to put them all in ports because that gives you too much of a spread in my opinion. You want the broadsides and all your barrages to be really focused areas in my opinion. So there's my crafter just chilling. He's up to level 40 now. And down here, we've got our beds. We've got all our storage boxes and all of that sort of good stuff. But I really think I need to streamline this and make the access a bit, a bit easier. I'm nearly getting thinking of getting rid of this middle deck and just putting the cannons on top because then people have more access to repairs. It's much easier to repair and streamline if you if you sink and get the get the buckets out of the ship. So this build's taken shape, but I've learned a few things like since building it. So at the moment you kind of have to go around and down. 
to get like water and, and bucket bucket it out, so it's a bit of a process, so that will need to be streamlined. But it's taken shapes, and you can just see that all this armor takes the damage instead of the planks, which is really effective. So you can save your planks, and repairing these is really cheap. And plus you can get, if you get upgraded uh, slope roofs, which I should have done, you can make it even more armored as well. So I know some people got the exploit early on where the um, craft bonus stacked. So you've got some people with like crazy 12,000 medium plank ships, um, which is pretty OP. I hope they nerf it or do a retroactive fix to that because there's some ships with crazy plank strength. So this is like a cheap, cheap build that still should be pretty effective. The only problem is the weight, so I feel like it's a bit heavy, so I'm still in two minds about putting four more cannons over here, but I do want that 12 cannon broadside, so maybe after we level it up a bit and have the capacity to take the crew, because it's out 14 out of 19 now and you want players to be able to spawn on, then we'll do that. You can also put ramps over your um, over this here, and that'll protect your, um, your guys a bit more on the sails. I haven't actually done it at the moment. I did have it, but I removed it. So it's like this here. It just sits over them, and then if someone boards your ship, it just makes it a little bit harder for them to get access to kill them. So this is why I haven't been uploading. I've been busy building this. So I'm going to go test this bad boy, see how it goes now with the extra armor. It should be pretty good. So we'll look for a ghost ship, and uh, look for some more BPs too while we're at it. Oh. Here's our first test run. Of course it's foggy as soon as I get into combat. I swear this game knows when you're about to do something cool and it's like, nope, here's fog. Alright, that's far on us. Let's see how this armor goes. See, it just hits the armor. It's so good. It does barely any damage too. I think the uh, wood armor has a mitigated effect against cannonballs. Get him behind us. Trail on the ghost ships behind is the easiest way to deal with them. And my heavy cannons are actually 110% damage too, so it should do a pretty decent amount of work to it. And the hard part is getting to the right speed that the ghost ship just follows you. See, I can just sit here and tank for days. It's pretty damn cool. I feel so much more safe in this ship now. Compared to any other ships, because you just know you're going to lose planks on other ships, but on this one... So hard for people to get two planks. Even the rear there, it's just all hitting the, hitting all the wood. So yeah, most of the armor's taking all the damage, which is good. Should have been it. Come on there. My AI keeps missing, but you can see there it's all the armor taking the damage. There we go. Alright. So let's have a look at the damage here. So I think we took a fair bit of damage on the sides here. Not too bad actually. Not too bad, surprisingly. I think I need to put ceilings over these. So they don't take as much damage. And look at the rear here. The best bet is to be, um, the best test will actually to be, check these. So one cannon shot got in here. But there was only like one shot, which is good. And if we check down here, we can see the planks. So let's have a look. Probably should open that up so I can check planks from up here. So this one, this rear plank, Rearward plank took barely, I don't think, even a hit. And this one, a tiny bit, but you can see there, like, barely any, yep, barely any of this down here has taken damage to the plank. So your ship's going to last a lot longer. You know, it adds, like, twice the armor to your ship. And it's like, I took a fair little beating there. Like, I took a lot of shots to this. But yeah, I, I really recommend armoring your ships like this because it's going to make them much more harder to sink and add your survivability like adds to your survivability like crazy so we're going to level up 
We do need some more crew, but we do need a bit more weight. We'll go one point to that, one point to that. Now let's go get these floatsums. Unfortunately, we're actually at cap for the teams on this server, so I can't even uh, I can't even get the crew here, which sucks. Not much loot from now. So you really want to find some higher tier wood BPs. And you can armor this. Oh! I got a hundred and... That's awesome. Blueprint common ship. This is exactly what I was looking for. So now I can upgrade all my cannons. And make them... Uh, have 109 weapon damage plus craft bonus. So that is such a good BP that I just got now. And make sure I don't die. But it's just so chill, fighting in an armored ship like this, you don't even have to worry. I kind of hope they nerf it, honestly, because it feels kind of a little bit too OP in my opinion. So that's why it's good, even checking these these types of floatsums, because you can get some good stuff. So my cannons, this damage was taken last time, so the armor here, I think, did protect it. Hopefully. Um, I've also got these here, so you can board from the rear and just jump over. And also, if, if people use these, you can't see on large cannons like this, but you can open up the ceiling and then you can see again. I think one side took a lot more damage than the other, but I don't know which side that was. So all my damage basically went to my, my planks here. So I uh, really need some more upgrades for this thing, so we're going to get all these flotsams out here. If I can reach it, god damn. Even the low tier ones, you can find some good stuff on. So the... The problem, I don't know if it's actually a problem or a benefit of this actually, is that it's hard to um, grapple onto, so. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's a benefit. That's a plus. Same for this, gotta wait till it turns yellow. So, I'm gonna leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.